Today we're going to solve this equation, x squared equals 38x plus 123, and this is, a, this is an equation that is quadratic. Uh, we see that our highest degree term is a, a square, and uh, we're going to use completing the square to uh, solve this. We could do it by subtracting both of these terms from, uh, from both sides and getting, getting everything on the left side of the equation and then factoring. Uh, I don't really feel like factoring this though. Let's let's do completing the square instead. Um, so, step one. Step one is let's get our x's on the left and our constant on the right. We'll do this by subtracting 38x uh, from both sides of our equation. So on our left we get x squared minus 38x, and on the right we have 123. And actually, let me scoot this over a little bit. Let me leave a little gap here because what I want to do is I now want to figure out what do I have to add to both sides of my equation here to make a perfect square on the left. Well, let's follow the same method that we've done before and that is to look at this coefficient right here, negative 38. What we want to do is we cut that in half and to get negative 19 and so what we're going to end up with is x minus 19 squared. x minus 19 squared is x squared minus 38x plus 19 squared. And 19 squared, I believe, turns out to be 361. Okay? And whatever we add on the left, we have to also add on the right. So we get 361 here as well. On the left side of my equation, like I said, this is just x minus 19 squared. And on the right side, I've got to add up 123 plus 361. So let's see, that's going to be 484. Okay? Now, I have something squared equals 484. So the first thing I need to know is, what's the square root of 484? As it turns out, the square root of 484 is... 22. That's good to know. So what that means is I have something squared equals 484 and that's going to be either 22 or it could also be negative 22. So whatever's inside of here has to be 22 or negative 22. So I'll say x minus 19 is either positive 22 or negative 22. Adding 19 to both sides I get x equals 19 plus or minus 22. 19 minus 22 is negative 3, 19 plus 22 is 41, and those are my two possible values of x. Uh, I'm a skeptic, so let me just make sure that this is right by plugging this in, and I'm going to take the one that looks a little easier to plug in. Uh, negative 3 squared, that's going to be 9. 38 times negative 3 if I multiply 38 times 3, I believe I get 114. And if I multiply times negative 3, I get negative 114. And adding 123, is that a true statement? Yeah, 123 minus 114 does equal 9. So yes, that checks out. If one of your solutions works, the probability of your other solution working is very, very high. So I'm feeling really good about this answer now.